Now, 64% of Ghana's exports in the first half of this year were made up of gold, mineral fuels, and oils. That's according to the 2022 Trade Vulnerabilities Report by the Ghana Statistical Service. The share of gold exports was 9.4 percentage points higher in the first half of 2023 compared to 2022, while that of mineral fuels and oils exports was 8.5 percentage points lower. There is more in this report. The share of all other commodities also declined during the period. Gold, made up of more than half of all exports to Europe and almost half for Asia and Africa. For North America, the main export commodity was mineral fuels and oils, contributing three quarters of all exports. Cocoa beans and products represented a quarter of exports to Europe, the highest across continents, followed by North America and then Asia. The report pointed out that Exports exhibited a consistent pattern across various continents in the first half of 2022 and 2023, with about one third of exports going to Europe. There was also a 6.4 percentage point increase in the share of imports from Europe, while the share for all other continents declined. Now to another developing story as the Office of the Attorney General and Ministry of Justice has indicated that it is not in the position to vouch for the credibility of Torrenco Asset Management Limited to partner Tema Oil Refinery to revive the ailing company. This is coming after Torrenco agreed with the board of Tor to enter into a partnership while, uh, where part of Tor will be leased to Torrenco. In a letter to the General Transport, Petroleum and Chemical Workers Union of the Ghana Trades Union Congress, it said the due diligence report showed Torrenco has no financial and technical capacity capacity to undertake the transaction. It's pointed out that Torenko has no established affiliation with Vital or any other company which has the needed funds and technical capacity to undertake the proposed leased transaction. Joining us on Zoom is Bernard Ousu, National Chairman of General Transport, Petroleum and Chemical Workers Union. Mr. Usu, good evening and thank you for joining us. Do you agree with the position of the Office of the Attorney General and Ministry of Justice? Uh, thank you for your viewers. We believe what the Attorney General has said and that has been our position from day one. Elaborate a little more. What, what has been your position? Have you been, you know, proposing anything? First of all, our position has always been that the Torenko Asset Management is a company that is shred in secrecy. The company has no uh, capacity whatsoever. Uh, and the company has no financial capacity or technical know-how. It was earlier Torenko which failed a due diligence and now is trying to take over Tor without a due diligence. What so, they are doing is like stealing Tor. If there is an explosion today at Tor, they will walk away without any investment or nothing. They are coming to use Tor with Tor and leave Ghana with a the cost. They don't have the, either capacity or know-how. So what they are coming to do it is engaged in a suspicious activity, trying to co-opt workers to support it by giving some shares to what you call uh, some uh, staff at the refinery. I am saying this in the light of Torenko. Now Torenko has now gone back and changed its share structure by adding uh, some two entities. And the two entities is CAD Investment Limited, uh, Thema Tor Workers Trust. And this Thema Tor Workers Trust is consists of five workers of Thema Refinery, namely Bright Adentia Adongo, who is the Unicorp Local Union Chairman, a senior supervisor of the Tamara refinery, 
one Emmanuel Kenneth Abankwa, an ex Unicom executive member, and also a WWT manager of store. One Mr. Abbas Abogiri Abu, a secretary to Unicov, also a safety officer. Then one Mr. Albert Eje Amwaku, who is also a Unicov vice chairman, management, a manager for movement of products, and Scott Maufi Kwesi Tiavia. These five individuals came up together and formed Tema Trust. Tema Trust, a uh, Tema Charity Trust, and they have 20 percent. Yes, so they are using. So we are asking the of uh, what do you call the Attorney General to do an investigation on this new entity called Tema Energy Processing Company Limited, because we see it as fraud. We see it as a company without any track record as Torenko. It's the Torenko that has turned its face to become Tema Energy Processing Company Limited. How so verifiable is what you're saying? How do we confirm what you're saying? Come again? How do we confirm what you're saying about, you know, Torenko renaming itself or rebranding itself? Well, in my earlier submission, I, I made it clear that Torenko has now come up with a new share structure. And they, the Torenko itself has 40% shares. Card Investments has 40% shares. Then Tema, Oil, uh, Tema, uh, Tall Workers Trust also has 20% shares. So it's the same Torenko that has turned himself, add some, what you call, shares, just to cure the mischief that uh, we raised earlier on about their financial capability and their technical capability and their know-how. Because we know that they have never done this business anywhere in the world. And so they cannot do the work. So what the Attorney General brought out is clearly the, 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 the position of the General Transport Petroleum and Chemical Workers Union from earlier stage to today. So, so what do you suggest should be the way forward? The way forward is that the government or the ministry, should, uh, the board of directors of TOR should be transparent and come out with uh, what do you call an advert to the whole world that this is the problem of Tamar refinery and ask entities with good credibility and good track record with good financial background to come and invest in Tamar refinery. As workers, we are not against any entity coming to take over Tor. What we are asking is that any company that is coming to Tor should be a company with good standing, but not a company with questionable characters like Torenko and Tema Energy Processing Company Limited, which the Attorney General has vindicated our position. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Usu. Bernard Usu is the National Chairman of the General Transport Petroleum and Chemical Workers Union. Well,